Hi guys, my name is Ben Connolly and I'm really excited to be here with you to be able to share my 14 years of photography experience with you guys via the TEDS Masters program. Last year in October, TEDS announced me as their latest TEDS Master, which was a huge privilege. Uh, and in the first couple of blog posts we put out, I gave you guys some information around posing and lighting for males and females, which was really well received. Really well received. Um, in in the, the, the following sort of months after that, we got a lot of inquiries as to what equipment that I use in order to create those photos and, and just what the gear is that I take to a wedding. So that's what we're going to go through right now. I've got my trusty bag here. Um, I'm going to go through with you just very quickly all the things that I take to a wedding, um, the lenses, the cameras and all that sort of stuff. And uh, most of this stuff is all available at your local TED store as well. So let's, uh, let's get into it. So the first thing that I want to share with you um, is flashcard wallet. Um, I always have one of these to protect my flashcards and as you can see I take a lot of them to a wedding. I usually shoot uh, with an 8 gig flashcard. Um, I try not to put all of my eggs in one basket just in case we have any issues with cards. So flashcard wallet, really important. Now we have two bodies. If you're a professional photographer or if you even want to start shooting weddings or be present at weddings in, in any photo capacity that you're being paid for, you need two bodies. So what we have here is I have two 5D Mark III's um, which are, I'm very excited to say, through TEDs will soon be upgraded to 5D Mark IVs so we're really happy with that. Um, two 5D Mark III bodies and I've also got a third body as well which is what we're filming on right now which is a awesome little Nikon AW1 um, and that's brilliant for if it's raining or anything like that it's it's a really great shockproof waterproof you can do anything with it camera so I really recommend that you have even just a little point and shoot just as a third backup just in case so as you can see on the front of this 5D Mark III, I've got probably my favourite lens of all time, which is, if I can just get the lens hood off, there we go, which is 7200 Series 2 uh, 2.8. So this is, as I said, my favourite lens. Um, it's the most versatile lens and it's, it's the, the go-to lens that I use for when I'm shooting a wedding, um, when I'm shooting portraits as well for when I have enough room. Um, just a little tip for you, when you are shooting portraits, you always want to shoot the portrait on a, on a long lens or at least an 85. So the reason for that is people just look better and faces just look better on a zoom lens, on a long lens. So don't use a wide angle because you'll make people look not so great. Okay, so there's our two bodies. Be careful not to knock anything over here. So next we have, this is my wide angle. So this is a 17 to 40 F4 Canon L series lens. Um, so this is a, a really great creative lens and just something else to put on if you want to get another angle, a nice big wide angle or you've got a great big panorama that you want to shoot with the couple or something in there. That's a great lens. Uh, next up is probably my second favorite. This one is the 24 to 70 Series 2. Uh, this is an amazing lens. It is lightning fast. It is just amazing in low light. Uh, I had the Series 1 uh, of this lens, which was it was a really good lens, but getting the Series 2 will just turn your world upside down. It is an amazing piece of equipment. Uh, next up, oh, I have a 100mm macro. Uh, this lens is, is amazing for all of those really nice macro shots like rings, flowers, shoes, all of that creative sort of up close macro stuff for, that I use for weddings. Um, it's, it's also good for when you're at a reception, shooting in the evening, um, you know, if we, the 70 to 200 can be a little bit slow in low light, but I found that this, the macro, is, uh, is actually pretty good and fairly quick in low light. So it's obviously a fixed focal length, but it's a really good lens for, for that sort of thing as well. Um, next up, we have just a little 50mm lens. Um, this isn't the L series lens um, because I'm thinking about upgrade or well, going to upgrade uh, very shortly to one of the Sigma Art lenses, the 50mm. They're, uh, they're an amazing lens as well. But this little 50mm is fantastic for 
Um, when your ceremony is finished, say at a wedding, and you've got all those congratulations and stuff happening, so before the couple walk down the aisle, I'll get my assistant, my lovely assistant Tegan, to pop this 50 mil on one of the other bodies that I've got. And this is a lightning fast lens. And for all of those really quick people congratulating people, hugging shots, this is the go-to. It's lightning fast, it's lightning sharp, and it's just a great little lens as well. Um, so what we also have is two Canon 580EX flashes. So I have actually three of these. So I've got another little bag just with a spare one as well. So we have three of these flashes. Again, if you are doing weddings or anything like that and you're being paid for it, not only do you need at least two bodies, you need at least two or three of these. So also to go with those flashes, I have my trusty case of Eneloop rechargeable batteries. So uh, it's looking a little bit sad at the moment, but um, we've, I've got uh, probably about 20 sets of these batteries. So the Eneloops are just an amazing battery. They recycle really quick and you, know, you, can, you can recharge them a thousand times before they, they actually start sort of getting slow and, and not holding charge. Uh, okay, so next up I have these little numbers. So what we've got here are remote triggers for these flashes. So these little remote triggers are the Yongnuo brand. Um, I don't believe that we have these at TED's but we do have some other really good brands as well like Hanel. Um, they make a, a, um, a unit like this as well that is, that is really good. So these are amazing for doing off-camera flash photos. So, you know, backlighting a couple from the back or if you need flashes set up in different parts of the room, you need to activate them when you hit the shutter. These are amazing and uh, they set your flashes off really, really well. Uh, the Yongnuo brand that I've found are probably the best um, for me personally. Uh, I've, I've tested a few of them. I've tested them for interference. I've tested them for distance and uh, these little cheapies just go the distance all the way. I can set a flash off for, for 150 metres away and they're really, really good. Um, next up, we're almost at the end of this now guys, so next up I have this. This is what we call a colour checker passport. So this little device has a grey card in there, I'll just hold that up for you, and we've also got a range of colours uh, in the other side. Now if you're in an environment where you can't really work out what the white balance is and it's, it's a little bit difficult, what you can do is actually take a photo of, of this colour checker passport in the light that you're currently in and then you can continue to shoot all of your photos without changing your white balance. Then once you upload all your photos into Lightroom or Photoshop or whatever you're using, you can select the eyedropper on one of the white panels and then apply that change to all of the photos that you've shot in that location, in that lighting. And what that will do is automatically change your white balance to the actual correct white balance according to the white uh, that you've chosen in this colour checker passport. So this is an amazing and a very quick little piece of equipment. Um, next up, I always carry with me some kind of uh, constant light source. So for me personally, my preference, I've chosen an ice light. Um, this is an amazing constant light source. You can obviously buy uh, other light sources like LEDs and stuff which we're using for the lighting here at the moment. Uh, we can buy those from TEDS as well. They've got a great range of LED constant lights. So this one personally is my favourite. Um, it's totally adjustable. The white balance is, is set to a beautiful daylight white balance so whenever you're using this you can just have your camera set on daylight white balance and everything's fine. And uh, this is an amazing piece of equipment. Uh, I also carry with me one of these. So this is a 5-in-1 reflector. Uh, I have a few of these actually. This is my very small one which I actually strapped to my bag. And I have another quite large one which is an Amiga reflector. Um, which is a similar sort of thing only it's got a hole in it and you can actually shoot straight through it. So um, these are an amazing thing to have. I can guarantee that most of you have one of these in the back of your car and probably never use it. 
I, I urge you to get out and if you don't have one, buy one. If you do have it in the back of your car, grab it out and start using it and you'll see an instant improvement in the lighting of your photos and they're really great. You can have some fun with these. Um, and finally, to carry all of this stuff, um, as you can see, we don't have any straps or anything hanging off these cameras. I don't personally like things hanging around my neck, so I have hand straps on these cameras where I can just place my hand straight through and hold the camera just like that. So this isn't ideal when I need to be moving people around and I need both my hands. So what I have is, you'll see a little knob just on the bottom of this lens there. And that is for my camera belt. Um, a lot of people call it my cowboy belt or my Batman belt when I'm at a wedding. But this is a spider holster. There is a number of different brands of these now getting around. Um, this one is the original the spider holster. And what happens is, They've got a locking mechanism just here with this little knob that you can mount into the bottom of your lens or into the bottom of your camera just here. Basically, they lock straight onto that belt and it will hang on your waist. So I quite often walk around like a gunslinger with two cameras strapped to the side of me, but it's a really good way to save your back, to save your neck, and it's, it's, they're a lot quicker to actually get off your hip as opposed to trying to pull it off your shoulder or something if you need to get the camera out really quickly to get that shot. So um, that's that's pretty much uh, all I sort of carry with me, guys. I, I try and keep things fairly light um, so as my poor assistant Tegan doesn't have to carry a massive bag around. So this is pretty much everything I take with me. Um, again, all this stuff is pretty much, pretty much all this stuff is available at TED's. So duck in and see the guys at TED's and if you have any questions with regard to any of the work that I do or any of this equipment, please contact the guys at TED's or feel free to contact me directly through the TED's website. Thanks very much for watching guys and I look forward to speaking to you soon.